Hey, we're back, headed on to week 16, going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. I was really thinking we were going to see a breakout as we had a, amazing performances across the board. It also seems as if we don't even have a player of the week, which that would be really crazy. We had crazy game. Bruh! We had way better performances than some of these. Are they joking? We were amazing. Okay, I, I guess you you they know better than us, I suppose. Of course, the Philadelphia Eagles at 6 and 8, which is really surprising because that is a very talented roster. We may be the better bird team. We'll find out after this match. Uh, lock it back to non-morale drop. The other guys are all above for morale, but he is not. I can't, it's crazy looking at Kenneth Walker's overall, dude. He is so good already, of course. He's played like it. I mean, what, like nearly, well, probably will be uh, on par for 4,000 yards in two seasons coming from a rookie standpoint. You know, it's one thing to be like 26 years old or something and then doing that, but like dude's literally super young. He's like a beast. Of course, looking at the defense, this is what the squad's looking like. And I mean, it's a good squad. It's getting better and better. And we're obviously playing better football and obviously uh, trying to finish out strong with the Niners right on our heels still. The Rams and Cardinals kind of falling off a little bit, but they're still at seven plus wins, and if they finish strong, they could be in the mix perhaps, but if we win this next game, we can at least pretty much knock out the Rams and Cardinals, I believe, so uh, at least from stealing the division at least, but the Niners right on us, which is unfortunate. Look at the injury report. Their quarterback, Phelps, is actually injured. A, a torn labrum, that's like, you know, maybe four or five weeks, maybe that also contributed to them missing out in the playoffs potentially here Landon Dickerson is out can't believe Phelps was injured what was his dev it was only star wasn't a lot of potential there we were gonna go for him and I don't know maybe it was a good choice not to or maybe we should have traded up for him I don't know but quarterback over there I would imagine once again Jalen Hurts I'd imagine right they wouldn't have gotten rid of him. they did not doesn't seem like he's doing a good job of keeping this team afloat, though, but we'll see what he has in store for us when we face them. As far as what we want to do to stop them, I'd say the short to medium pass game. They're showing Phelps, but he's literally not the guy, but sure, I'm going to go with the medium pass game, and then attacking them seems to be the best, really, in the passing game. This feels like a setup, dude. I really don't feel like they're going to be a bad defense for... For coverage, but we're about to find out. No fan with an upgrade. He's now an 87 overall, getting a vertical upgrade uh, to the short range. He's looking okay with that. Hakaru with an upgrade will. I don't even know what we want to do. His deep accuracy really sucks. Throw power is not an issue, but I suppose in general we're going to go with strong arm just to get that deep accuracy up, which should also upgrade his medium. And it doesn't, but plus two to deep puts him at 76. All in the green now. Uh, hopefully, all the accuracy is in the green. We love the slot upgrades, but we really do need zone coverage for Woolen, and he gets a plus one in zone with a plus one to excel, which is almost 99 man, uh, speed and excel. That's, uh, you know, pretty fair, right? That's big six foot four. Yeah, it's, it seems fair to me. Uh, looking at Buckley, he's getting better, but of course, still pretty raw, and then Bolden, Really doesn't even play that much, but we'll give him an upgrade as well. Why not? All right, another home game. We talked about it. It's a big stretch of home games. We actually just seen week 18 there. I didn't even notice if that was a home game or not, but DK Metcalf had himself a really good season. We should be able to get him to double-digit touchdowns some point or another. Is he playing through the injury? Huh? Was I reading that? It literally said he had a two-week injury, no? Props the dude. Six and eight. Coming in with injury, you know, while being injured, despite the fact that Jalen Hurts is literally capable. I, I don't know. Maybe it glitched out. I'm not sure. But I seen him in the uh, the training. I seen him here, suited up, ready to go, you know, in that little, like, cut scenes. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. But, you know, whoever it is, we're ready for him. So I'm not really too worried about it. Coming off of a very impressive game, probably our best of the series let alone the season as like i said i feel like that was the best performance in the entire league this year so it's obviously the best of our season because once again like i said i i don't know if any teams ever played that well at least this season because that's that was an absurd performance i don't know what the titans were up to they have a really good roster and record as well so it's not like they're like secretively tanking or anything like that i'm not sure what that all is all about but 
We just came ready to play and we killed them. Hopefully that's the same this week. Playing against what appears to be an injured quarterback and a team that is, you know, barely in the hunt, if if at all, to be honest. Six and eight. I, I mean, you've seen there's a bunch of teams at seven wins in our division, so those teams are in trouble. What do you think a six win team is? As they're going to get to the 20, not even the 20, the 17 apparently at best. And once again, Phelps injured, but apparently playing. I, I don't know what's happening, but... Hey, props to that guy for being a tough dude. Looking at the season, pretty damn good. 25 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 3,700 yards. Completion percentage looking pretty good. Of course, that quarterback class looks really good, at least rookie year-wise. So it uh, does not surprise me to see he is one of those uh, names. Yeah, I don't understand, dude. He's got a torn labrum, but he's in. <laughs> okay, this dude's insane. He's actually a nutcase. Oh, never mind. Jalen Hurts is in. Well, that threw me off. Okay, well, sure. I, I don't know. Maybe he came out there. He's got some sort of streak he's going to try to get throughout his career. Most career starts in a row without, you know, missing a game. <laughs> I don't know, but he obviously didn't start there, so I, I really don't know what that's all about. But Miles Sanders, pretty good season, you know, nearly nearing 1,000 yards. Not quite Kenneth Walker, but he's still pretty good. You know, not everyone can be Kenneth Walker. Not not anyone can be Kenneth Walker other than him. Uh, of course, Davenport kind of getting locked up. And there goes a perfect throw to the side to Goddard from Jalen Hurts for a gain of 24. Nobody, I mean nobody, even close to him. Pass rush wasn't getting there anyways. It was just a very, very bad play as they're looking to probably get the ground game going here again. Really good cutback by Miles Sanders. Going to gain about four. Much better on that attempt, but it's not something we're proud of. Just, you know, commentating on the news. As we are going to be bringing a little bit of heat here, and we're not going to get there. And he's going to find the sit down at Dallas Goddard one again, once again for a gain of, you know, another nearly 20. Which, speaking of, maybe we can gain 20 subs and likes today. Maybe do those things. I don't know. It's up to you. As it is another first down, another throw, and another shot to the side, whereas Sidney Jones is all over that. Surprised he didn't come down with it, but Sidney Jones kind of on his back and ready to kill, so we'll take it. They are giving me a lot of tool tips here, which is very interesting. And Wosu on the inside, what a move! And unfortunately, good tackle, though, on uh, A.J. Brown. Unfortunately, he's still going to get it off and still going to get the ball there. It's a really good move on Lane Johnson, of all players, too. That was really impressive. Brooks, one-on-one, -on -one, takes him down. Gains nothing. It's a fourth and two. Decisions, decisions. They seem to be willing to take a field goal. Are you serious, game? I understand. Lord have mercy. I don't know what update they did or what happened, but, like... Could we not do this tool tips crap? If you want to put some tips on the side of the slider so we know exactly what they do and how to use them, that'd be kind of cool. Not that they work anyways, probably. Really, this ju they're going to tell me about juke moves and all this. Really? Okay, I guess. Okay, I think I turned it off. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, to the left, Kenneth. Well, they're still showing me how to truck, so maybe not. Kenneth Walker, though, speaking of, look at that season. 600 yards more than Miles. He's a god. All right, that gain of six sets us up for a short and manageable second down. Uh, I got a bunch of superstars on that D-line, but I'm still going to... Holy. Good job by Kenneth to cut that back. Gains five. That was a push and a half. When you're the doctor delivering babies. Jordan Davis pushing Elton way off his spot. Guy's an actual freak. I don't like that. Stretch play to the right, looking for another run and try to cut it back further because I didn't really like where the blocks were headed and we lose two. Might have got off to sprinting a little too early on that one. That's okay, though. A loss of two is fine after a first down. It's not preferable. That's a late read, but we do get off to more, but kind of struggles to catch that one. Gains five. Now going to be looking at a third and eight here. Really good blocking in that play, though, as it took us a long time to find someone and... We have the time to actually, like, hit that. And inside, oh, we took it. That's a bad time ball. We threw to Moore as he was breaking. There's no way in the world he's going to see that coming. Well, if they get a field goal, we get to punt, sadly. <laughs> so we will be punting the ball, and it's going to stay in bounds for an added 
bit of juice. Barnett, the rookie, who really does not get to play often, comes in. Speaking of coming in, Phelps pretending to come in. Psych, it's Jalen Hurts. <laughs> what a game. And Brooks, come on. Good job. Okay, well, that was kind of unnecessary. Diggs is all over it anyways. And Lane Johnson is injured. One is kind of wondering if he came into this one injured. As and Wosu kind of got the best of him really early, and I just don't see that happening. But, I mean, oh, wow. Can can um somebody? Diggs is like, well, I mean, to be fair, Diggs is a little bit too deep and never came up. But Diggs is like the only one playing the run. By the way, I kind of want to give a shout-out to the game for once. It's kind of cool. Like, we're trying to beat the linemen, the offensive linemen, and we were able to push our own guy down, which kind of, like, got both of them out of the way. That, I mean, that's kind of cool to see that that actually, like, in previous mountains, you would never, that would never happen. At least to my knowledge, I don't think it would, but that, that's kind of cool. Not that it helped us in any way at all. Also, why is our guy out of the zone? Sydney all over it. I was getting a little more excited because I thought, uh... Kalen Barnes was going to come in there. He was behind the play a little bit. Obviously, he was behind his man in general. There must be an ability that takes away our abilities, no? Oh, maybe uh, maybe the thing I turned off actually turns off like all abilities. You can't see them or something like that. I'm not sure why that would... like. Why would I want that? Yeah, that's probably what happened, but I don't care. It's They still have abilities. It's just not showing, even though it's really annoying. Jam Please! Yes! Jamal with a huge hit! into his spinal cord forces him to drop it i believe yeah i mean he got a really good pop to the back of him i mean look at the hit boom fumble that's our ball baby jordan brooks on top of the thing not bad I'm gonna go with a dive play up the middle and oh my god i don't know what jordan davis has what a stiff arm by kenneth though to get back to the line i don't know what he has but he needs to to stop he needs to give it back and I also really don't like the fact that we can't see our, like, superstars. Not that it really matters, but still. Did he... Darius Slay jumped it because of Acrobat. And it knocked out of uh, the hands of Noah Fan. Are you joking? And we can't even get the ball off. That's going to be a fumble. That could be a touchdown. Banson can't get over to the ball, and that's a touchdown. This Eagles team is not 6-8. This is not a 6-8 and eight football team. I'm sorry. They double-team Jordan. I mean, we drop back normal. Like, I don't do any extra drops. Here's the drop. Maybe I should have stepped up immediately, but, like, how, what am I supposed to do there? You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do there? Step up? Like, I don't even have time. Well, this has not been a good start for us, believe it or not. Like, like at all. Like, this is, this is really bad. And we just force it right into Fan, who makes a really good catch, in fairness, even though he dropped one earlier. I want to run to the left, but it seems like anything we run, Jordan Davis is literally all over it. And we are going to hand it off. Kenneth Walker with a nice truck. Gains like a yard at best. I think I fixed the, like... Like, we won't see when they're telling me how to juke and all that, but we can see, like, the X factors and all that. Also, they have it where our audibles are wrong, which is not fun. Oh, wow, that is a pretty good play made by the cornerback. Fourth and one from our own 32 this early is a risk. I think we're in a blue. Our defense has shown being that they're capable. Offense just gave up points, so I don't want to give up even more points. You know what I mean? So we're going to we're gonna punt this thing. Number eight making a pretty good play there. Kobe trying to get out there this time. Will. Fair catch to the 28. Okay, okay, defense has got to make a play. We got to get back to running the ball. We just didn't even run the ball at all there. Uh, you know, the first down run, you know, it's predictable, but we, we got to get back to it. We have to. There's no uh, there's no way around it. Let's just shift to this other side because they're going to run it. We would have been in some trouble underneath. And a missed throw to who the hell even is that? That guy's a superstar too. And Lane's back in. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. We are not ready for that. Get over there. We try to help him a little bit. And there goes Jalen Hurts trying to run. He cut it back left, thankfully, because he probably could have gotten an extra two if he would have went to the right. He probably thought we were going to overrun it, but we didn't. Not a good start for us, as you can see. I mean, we have similar plays. We just have no yards. And, of course, we gave him seven points on our offensive attempt. We're going to run a little press man, see if we can get some pressure. And Woolen is napping, causing A.J. Brown to get way out there, and he could score. And... 
He will not. All the way to the one. I do not know what Wolin's doing. Why is he just standing here? Who is he covering? Well, let's see. Uh, was it Brooks that chased him down after the missed tackle? Let's see if it pays off. And it will not. Touchdown. Wow. Don't get me wrong. I knew that the, uh, the Titans playbook made it where, you know, it was a little bit of a... Of a false game, if you will, a little, a little incorrect, right? Like it, it looked like we were killing them, but they were really set up to fail. But at the same time, this is absurd. Like this is crazy. Uh, can we? Thank you. It's pretty much just double slants, and that is a really good throw to Moore, who will take it all the way to the forty. Great job by Akaru, and that's like the majority of our entire yardage so far on offense through a whole quarter. <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna change this straight up handoff inside. Now they got five players, but if we can just get our manned up, that works. That works for me. Kenneth Walker gaining 13. I'm gonna go with half back stretch. This could actually hurt them. They might be looking at a blitz here. Can I get an out route? I really don't trust throwing against Slay, anyways, but you know. Look at that throw! Hakaru really starting to get comfortable with his throw power. Realizing, hey, you know what? I can actually kind of get most passes you know past anyone and that is a really good job by kenneth utilizing what he had available but only gonna gain two i don't know how i feel about this can we double up jordan i don't know how i feel about that either but whatever well we really didn't and kenneth's gonna be short do you trust Riggs? screw it dude nice gains about a yard or two can we get the blocks to maybe hit something to that corner? That's a lot to ask for. And lock it with an amazing catch. Obviously, the throw is great, too. Last second set in the feet. But that was beautiful by Lockett. Look at the footwork. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, that's what I, I figured. It's a huge loss of eight, bro. I can't believe how well they're covering, man. The coverage they have is just insane. And there goes Akaru. And he's going to run in for the touchdown. You know, stayed behind the line smartly. Trying to evaluate the field. Look around. See what's happening. And there was just nobody there. So we just took off. And we will get a huge touchdown. Beautiful play. That is nice. Clutched up hard. There was a couple of moments in that drive where it really looked... Pretty grim, and yet we we succeeded. Porter, the rookie, getting out there. Doesn't need to as Moffitt makes an amazing play. Stopping him for a loss of two. I'm really a huge fan of cover four here, but they have beat us all over the place. Look at Brooks. And I guess maybe it was decent. And oh my god, thank god I didn't call P.I. Try to switch to Adams, switch me to the wrong guy, press Y, and kind of slowed the man down. That could have been bad. This could be like a screen pass. See what happens here. Third and 12. And over the middle. No. We are getting killed in man coverage. But like it's like the best way to stop someone on third down. If I don't run man coverage, someone's going to sneak past, right? We're going to be like, oh, let's not give up anything for a first down. And then it's like, oh, here's the running back for 10 right underneath. Oh, man. Trying to mix it up so much, and it's just not working. And Sydney! Oh no! He keeps dropping interceptions! We actually covered a curl route for once. And right over the middle, Porter's gonna miss. I mean, <laughs> what else can you ask for there? I mean, like, Dallas Goddard going up against Porter, who's really athletic, linebacker. Safety hybrid and he beats him. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, what do you do there? Doesn't have anyone open. Might have to throw it away. Can't do it. And Jamal will kill him. Holy. That was a hit. Jamal already saving the game as is this one so far. Davenport, good try, but he knew he was going to get beat and try to get him. Couldn't. And boom. Get Jamal dropping deep, but starting off shallow, and that will be a sack! Fumble recovered by Taylor, who will score! They're still going to tell me how to celebrate and all that. 
Okay, I guess. Don't even know why Taylor was in, but we'll take it. Daryl Taylor, the backup edge, picking up a fumble force from maybe Davenport. And we'll get our own defensive. It was Ed Oliver, the, the very expensive man. We'll get our own defensive touchdown. The defenses are not messing around. The fumbles are flying in this one, considering I have the fumble sliders, like, really rare to fumble. Oh, wow, that was our area. We kind of vacated. That's a little bit of pain, but it is what it is. What can you do? Jalen Hurts makes a play out of nothing. On par for 400 yards in this one, pretty much. That's pretty crazy, at least passing. Didn't even start running yet. Ed Oliver, try not to hit him late. Jamal Adams, pummeling. Still gains eight. About a minute left in the second. Anything but a touchdown. If we allow a field goal, fair enough. But not a touchdown. Brooks trying to get down there. And it wasn't even a pick play from Goddard. Both players just kind of got locked up. Because Goddard was trying to run that double move inside. Which probably would have been for even more yards. So in a way, we kind of PI'd him. But it was just... Oh, man, that sucks. We're bringing a lot of players here. And they will go underneath. Brooks will kill him. Gains five, but that will be uh, a play that keeps the clock running, obviously. Trying to move players around, mix things up a little bit. And they will go to the outside quickly. That's okay. As long as he doesn't get out of bounds, you know, they're already in field goal range anyway, so... It's kind of a bait play by us, and they're going to have to call that timeout. Ten seconds left. They're probably going to kick the field goal early. Not that it's going to matter, but we did try to ice them. They got two superstars there. Look at that. I imagine that's like the fullback or the tight end. We can't get there, but we do make a hell of a comeback. Down, what was it, 14-0, 17-0, something like that. And here we are only down by six with ball at half. And obviously, I don't expect much, but with six seconds, you do never know. Now, if you don't have Kenneth Walker, maybe you don't run this pitch play. But you have Kenneth Walker, you absolutely give him a shot. You absolutely give him a shot. And wow, who the hell is that? How the hell did he catch up? Kaiser White? I didn't think he had that in him. Either way, still gain a two. The halftime stat line, definitely uh, a bit more even from uh, our rushing. But man, our pass game has been pretty much non-existent. But we did say before the game when we were deciding what the game plan was going to be is we didn't feel like that run, uh, that pass defense was going to be as bad as they said it was. And we were pretty right. And so far, we have struggled to throw the ball. That pass rush is really good so far. I'm not trying to jinx our man or anything like that, but we haven't even seen an interception. So, yeah, it's a little worrisome. And we're going to have to throw this away, I imagine. Thought maybe there was a chance on the underneath drag to more, but... I just felt like we had something better ready to go, and we just didn't. And it has become a bit of a challenge to throw anywhere near Slay's side. And a car is going to get away and slide for the first down. Whew, barely. Barely getting away. Hassan Reddick was ready. But as opposed, since he didn't get us, he's not that ready. First and 10 from the 34-yard line up the middle. And there goes Jordan Davis absolutely pummeling us for a loss of two. I have no idea what abilities he has, but that is busted. If that's inside stuff, that is just, like, unguardable. Like, literally. I want to get Walker running out here because if it's a quick blitz. Oh, wow. Wow. Good blocking, fellas. Come on, guys. Better than that, please. Might be going for a slant with more here. And we're going to have to run again as we just have no time to throw. Three yards. But basically a sack, to be honest. It was a three-man rush, and we're getting killed this quickly. Holy, man. Like, what are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to read a freaking defense when we don't even have time to even think? Like, you could see the streak on the outside there, but, like, you could see our left tackle instantly dying. We don't have time to read that. Especially when you get killed the previous play before, you're going to be a little more hesitant. You know, you're going to be paying attention to the line even more the next play. Don't go in. Oh, please. What a punt. Oh, that was close to kind of running into him. What a punt by Dixon. It literally sits at the two. I mean, there's no guarantee that they're actually going to run the ball, but I mean, you got to think it is. And it's not. And right over the middle, that's where we were supposed to be. But you know, if they run a street, they run an out, they run anything that isn't a slant or a drag, and we're manned up like that. 
you know, that's a GG if we, we decide to just go full in slant, you know. And good tackle. Gains four, though. We really got to get off the field here. We're going to go mid. We really got to stop them here. They cannot have a long drive from their own two. And Jamal with the tackle will give us just that. A punt. Look at the way our line look look at the way our left tackle's lined up there. Like who is he blocking? Oh, there goes Kenneth! Stiff arm! Kenneth! Touchdown! What a play! I really wasn't even ready for that because I was like, oh, this is like a four-yard play. And he busts it free for the touchdown. The truck, the stiff arm. The unwillingness to go down. He's insane. Buries that guy. Goes for the stiff arm. Buries him, pretty much. That is a crazy play, dude. Oh, my. All right, first and ten, Eagles. Uh, we are actually leading. Oh, their run game starting to get open. Nice hit by Mafe there. Second and four from the 31-yard line. They're going to throw it this time, and they're going to get a lot of yards. Trying to get a good hit there on uh, Devontae Smith. Couldn't really do it. They are moving. First and 10. No run. And over the middle. Wide open. Cindy Jones can't make the tackle either. Barton gets a nice hit. But another first down. Five wide. Jeez, they are going for the jugular here. Barnes underneath. Get over there. Oh, oh! huge hit. Fumble again. Oh, Barnes is gone. You're not catching Barnes. Look at the speed. He's in. Touchdown defense number two. Who hit him that time? Who was it? Over the middle, and was it Barton? It was not. Barton was holding him down, and Brooks comes in with the pop. Brooks with a recovery. Brooks with an actual force fumble, and on two different occasions. And Oliver forcing the cutback left. Penny on the run. Miles Sanders injured. I didn't see him actually get hurt, but I haven't seen him in some time. And now we are so in the zone, we know what routes they're running. Oh, well, that was a little more interesting, but now let's <laughs> get the tight end playing out there. Okay, I guess. And Oliver, no. Quick play, and where's the first down marker? Hello? Thank you. That's all I wanted. It's probably a run, but at the same time, we can't really afford to give up like a huge play while blitzing. Oh, that was a good play. Woolen! Oh, huge hit by Brooks. How is that not a fumble? Woolen had him and he missed. Man, Woolen's tackling's really been getting bad lately. Normally we're able to just crush someone underneath at their knees and he's been selling. And Oliver pushing, can't really get there though. Oh, they switches the wrong guy, but Brooks getting the free shot at a, a hit is probably not the worst case for us either. Man can force a fumble. This team really does have that boom, though. They got that boom. Don't worry about it. Brooks can't get in there. Barton slows him down, at least. Does knock him out, and he will be at the 47-yard line. And before that fumble, they were looking pretty good, obviously. Porter going against Devontae, but he has that safety help, so we're going to allow it one-on-one. -on -one. Brooks tries to make a play and digs all over it. Brings him down, but doesn't get a hand on it. Once again, no Miles Sanders. He must be injured. That's all I can really think of as Jamal is not going to get there Woolen gets beat again but gets some help from Ed Oliver and now Cody Barton is hurt first and 10 nice cutback wow Barnett first play in the game gets stiff armed to the ground now Cam Jurgens is injured seeing some injuries here right now it's not uh not good for anyone especially them since they're down and they're six and eight you know we can kind of afford to lose this game if we really had to Inside, uh-oh. Runs right into Nwosu, and a bunch of players are going to get credit for that one as he gets taken out by like three different players. Pictorial strain. We can live with it. We can live with it. Of course, we're so in the zone. We can see their route, but it's squiggling. That's uh, kind of busted. Is it going to be to the outside? It's not. Wolin. Good try. Does he get the feed in? They're going to say no, but how close was it? I saw I saw him get the left, and I thought he wrapped the right back behind, but he never did. What a try by Wolin. That was insane. Up by eight, going for the field goal here. You know, they're down by eight. Uh, it's not the worst call, especially if they can actually hit it, but if they don't, then it's pretty bad. And they do. It's kind of like a soccer kick, and, and Oliver's injured now. Bruh. 
Can we, like, just avoid injuries and things like that? It'd be, be kind of cool. Bruce Sternum, that's okay. That's fine. Going to the left, Kenneth Walker trying to find room, and Jordan Davis hits him. Was he down, though? Because if he is not, that will be Eagles football. Damn, Jordan Davis. Regardless, fumble or not, he's insane. And he is down. Almost had the elbow down as well, but still, that's... Dude, is I'm not. After a review of the play, uh, my butthole is still clenched, regardless of the result. Second and nine, and we're going to have to take that deep. And he misses Lockett by a few yards, a little under pressure. And in general, hasn't really thrown the ball that much. Is There is something to, you know, being rusty, not throwing the ball much, you know. And underneath, I was just about to take Lockett. And Fletcher Cox gets to us because the offensive line has been awful. I mean, we got guys getting literally buried. It's one thing to get beat, but to get completely run over is ridiculous. At least Michael Dixon's been good. Of course, we got our own big guy. Not quite as good as Jordan Davis in any aspect, but he's big. They also double-team him as well. I can't blame, you know, Fletcher Cox getting the one-on-one -on -one is every day of the week the right move. Jordan Davis has proven a time and time again, just even in this game against us, that he is legit. And Puna Ford's trying to make a play. Can't really get there. Kind of gets the force, though. Diggs turned back, but that's okay. That's a that's a decent play. Kind of struggled a little bit there. Recovered and, you know, made the play. That's all that matters. Barnes, who has a fumble recovery touchdown, going to be coming in on the major blitz here. And there's a screen and drop by Brooks. Kind of, you know, had a hand on it. So did Miles Sanders. And the defense holds. Good job. He should have went full pick mode, though. He kind of had his arm around Sanders, which, I mean, I don't know why he would have. He, he had the interception. Caldwell gets popped. The punts have been really short from them, though. This might just be a game where we don't really throw the ball. I mean, we're kind of riding the coattails of the defense. And Jordan Davis again. I mean, we have had, like, almost no success up the middle. I can't believe how good he is, though. Like, how? How is it even possible? Like, how do we actually defend against it? And that's a really good throw to Noah Fant. Very decisive. And it's tough because it's not even just like, oh, the guy's open. You have to also think about, you know, you're going against your other reads as well. Like, I saw Kenneth Walker out the gate. I saw Lockett. I seen a lot of guys there that I could have thrown to, but we, we decided to go to Fant and decisively went to Fant. And look at Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis didn't make the actual play there, but he did so much disrupting that we couldn't get our linemen out there and Kenneth Walker was on his own because of Jordan Davis. And even then, Jordan Davis still made the play. Kind of. Our Sega White side! Holy crap, Hikaru, don't do that again. I get it, right? Once again, the pressure, it's immense, it's insane. I don't know what's going on. But, like, can we not do that, please? And inside, the little double move inside worked out more. Gains almost a first down. We're almost reaching 100 yards on the game passing. I don't know if we will, though. Once again, I mean, this almost seems like a dead play running it, but at the same time, if I go for the throw, Darius Slay might lock up anyways. Either way, I'm going to go for it. And that throw is not great, but it's good enough. don't know how that worked, but it just seemed like it was, it was going to be vastly overthrown, but, like, the ball seemed to, like, almost slow down in air. A man's got talent. What can I tell you? Hikaru can do that thing. If we can get our Sega Whiteside off that edge, you don't need a whole long. You just need enough for Metcalf to show off the speed. And even then, Metcalf's just going to have to do it on his own. Inside won't make it, but turns it into a gain of four when he had no help. What can I tell you? There was no help there. Lock it. Could be my man. I don't want to overthink it and throw a pick, though. Over the middle, Metcalf working his anus off. Pop down to the one. Good play, throwing that quick inside handoff and the biggest play of the game pretty much. And there's no Jordan Davis. I don't know what that defensive play calling is. I get he's a big guy, needs to come out a lot, but that is the play you absolutely need him in. And it may have costed him him not being there. What a damn game though. I don't know how the hell we're in the position we're in. Like we've literally like, we fell asleep for like three quarters. And Wosie making a play and there goes... Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts getting popped. I don't know what he's doing on that one. Trying to do a little too much, and Brooks will force yet another. Where's the slide there? If I was Philly's defense, I'd be pissed. 
We look like almost the better defense, even though we've been far and wide, not even close to as good. I mean, that's just I mean, that's just a layup for anyone. Boom. Never thought you'd hear the kind of phrase layup fumble, but that was that was it right there. They turned over the ball four times. Kenneth finally finds some room on the inside on the cutback. Turned this into a nice gain. 14 to be exact, I believe. <laughs> exact, I think. <laughs> Putting him two yards short of 100. Which he will get here barely. Because once again, Jordan Davis. Does that guy actually care about human lives? Or what's the story? <laughs> He's a freak. I sold so hard. I sold so hard. He's so open over the middle and I just panicked. Oh my god. It's not going to affect us winning or losing, but more was a touchdown. I don't know how I panicked here. He's literally so open. It's literally a touchdown. Oh my. I get it, right? They're getting a little bit of a push inside, but like, really? Oh, he's so open. There was nothing I could do either. I, I knew it. I seen him. And I just, I, I panicked. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Especially with us throwing picks the way we have. I mean, there maybe there is a chance for them to win. How stupid we are. Oh, I just added another pick to Hikaru that doesn't, he doesn't deserve. And took away a touchdown. It would have sealed the game and gave him better stats. And I like more a ton. And I want him to have more touchdowns. Oh, that's pain. Like, that is easily the worst. Well, I can't really remember, but that's pretty close to the worst sell we've had in this uh, series. But it's hard to tell, though, because like I said, I mean, we are likely going to win anyways. And I feel like selling the actual game away is a bigger sell than any kind of, like, you know, play like that. Whereas it's likely that we're going to win, right? It's pretty unlikely that we'd lose this. Can't get off the block. Getting blocked in the back quite hard there, actually. Good job by the DBs, though. Barnett. Trying to make himself a, a name for himself. Not really doing a whole lot for it, though. And, like, like I said, that's the big problem with him. Is that change in direction. It is just so bad. Like, you literally can't change at all. Oh, wow. What is this? I think we're in a hook. I don't know. It's okay. That's okay. Two minute warning is taking a long time to get down the field. Gonna be blitzing with Barnett. Brooks going after the running back a little late, but does a good job. Uh oh, that is a lot of yards. And Woolen gets a huge hit on Jalen, who doesn't want to slide again. And he's in some trouble, and he's gonna get hammered for like the 40th time today. My man's is having a tough time. And over the middle, Barnes all over it. 110 left. Field goal does nothing for him. They need a touchdown. Could dump it off to the running back. Instead, he wants it all. And nice breakup last second anyways, but almost had him. Normally, we would be super aggressive, but meh. I'm going to play our numbers. Damn, we can't get anywhere. And Jalen actually completes it. It's a touchdown. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to take off. He has a lot of time because we only bring the three. Thinking we're trying to play smart. The guy, our player, does kind of jump up there thinking he's in a run. And Brooks gets completely beat on the comeback. Rager apparently back in Philly. Missed tackle by Kobe. And there's just nobody there. Nice little block there in the end zone. And... It was just enough. Without that block, Diggs probably gets him, considering he almost got him anyways. Wow. I mean, they're obviously going to try the onside kick because it's, you know, the time's kind of dwindling, but they've got three timeouts, so even if they don't get this, which they don't, you know, they still can make the stop. That is absurd. That is an insane play. I, I literally can't believe they made that. First and 10 from the 46-yard line, cutting it back inside and getting hammered as Kenneth gains about three. I mean, there's not really much you can do other than just literally run the ball and hope somebody blocks. Especially with our track record of being stupid. And good run by Walker. Gets to the 39, three yards short. We got all these wide receivers out, and it's kind of tricking them. Can Jordan Davis make a play? He cannot, and Kenneth will win the game. Wow, that was a very close call. And they're a little salty, so we're going to have to kneel it uh, twice, actually. That was a game and a half. Yeah, 6-8 and eight team. I'm sure they are. Unbelievable. Jalen Hurts playing his freaking heart out. Wasn't for all those fumbles they had. They would have won that game. 
I mean, the fumbles literally got us the win. Without a doubt, of course, really pissed off that, that we didn't hit that throw to more. Panicked and just forced it in a triple with Metcalf. I kind of just like, he was my pre-snap read, but obviously I was going to have to wait for him to get over the middle. And I felt a little bit of pressure and just, I don't know what happened, and just panicked. And I saw, and like, I was trying to throw to more, but for some reason I, I threw to Metcalf. It was a huge L. Of course, looking at the numbers, terrible in the end. Just really never had a chance. Pass rush was insane. Just not getting open quick enough. But we got enough from Kenneth Walker in the ground game. And then obviously the defense just absolutely insane. Championship level defense without a doubt. But playing games like that, I don't I don't know if you're going to make it far in the playoffs. Got to clean those up and get back to those scoring ways like we did against Tennessee. But yeah, Philadelphia, I don't know how they're 6-9. They are a much better team than that. And ooh, Kenneth with another upgrade. Not really sure what we want to do here. Do we want to go power? Because the loose, or receiving back was pretty trash, right? Let's go power back, see if we can get another truck. Maybe a stiff arm or two. Plus one is trucking, plus one is stiff arm. Because we do actually stiff arm quite a bit. Spin move, we don't. But stiff arm, we do. So maybe it is worth continuing to upgrade his power move. And then Kalen Barnes... Uh, I mean, we kind of pretty much need zone on everyone, but since he's not that much higher on his man than he is his zone, going to go with slot because you can get both anyways. Now he's a bit higher than that. <laughs> now he's like eight, so maybe now we do it, but that's going to be it. Ten, four, and one. The Niners still on our heels, and we also do have to play the Cowboys and Browns next, which are very good teams, so we could lose the next two and lose the freaking division on the very final week if the Niners decide to get dangerous and win all their games. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jump Care, and second channel, Care for for non mad and stuff, which uh, might be another Far Cry video tomorrow. That's about it, though. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video...